Hey guys, Chris here again, and welcome to... Well, Europa sure looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to be crazy and put the achievement runs temporarily on hold to play a game of Voltaire's Nightmare, which is basically HRE Circle Jerk. Because, I mean, you can see, obviously, this is the entire map size. Of, obviously, it doesn't use the entire size of the map, hence you see this gigantic pool of water. But, yeah. It's basically the HRE magnified like crazy, because you can go down to each individual province. and It's all... It's just going to be really, really odd. That's all I can really say about it. And I... I just wanted to give it a bash at some point anyway and see, you know, what this is like compared to a regular game. Because obviously, you're going to be uh, dealt with a lot more of internal mechanics. And there's like so many more nations. Like, I don't know, there's like, there's like nations here. To roll is gigantic. There's loads of other, look, look at all these tiny nations here. Like three provinces. Three provinces, two provinces for all of these. Where are the free cities and everything? You got things like this, you got Wurtenberg big, all of the, all the stuff that you used to know as countries are quite big, and then there's the tiny ones, like look at Lubeck right here. Yeah, Lubeck has like, actually no, this is Lubeck, this is Lubeck state, I guess? Huh. Obviously that's the, uh, the city state of Lubeck. Huh. It's all a bit weird, and it even has all of the, even has all of the Dutch islands over here, with, uh, yeah, and the straits in between them. It's massively detailed, the map, and all of the teeny tiny provinces. I mean, you can see, like, there's a teeny tiny dude right here. Oh, that is a weird pink. And free city ideas. Oh, there's a brand new free city. There's a brand new ideas for free cities. Interesting. Anyway, what nation do I want to play? I don't know. I haven't really given much thought, but I thought of just going for the overpowered. The obvious overpowered. Okay, obviously, map can't zoom that much, really. But let's go for the overpowered one. And he is kind of, Brandenburg is kind of overpowered in this because um, they start with some pretty hefty loaded ideas at the beginning. I don't know, I just wanted to pick an Asian that's somewhat OP that isn't, you know, gigantic Bohemia. And I mean, look gigantic. 119 provinces. Although it's only 460 development in 119 provinces. Obviously every province must be like, yeah, dirt. With the exception of Prague itself. Development is kind of... Yeah, I think that's to make sense of the fact that there's a lot more provinces, even though Milan itself is... Holy crap, that is gigantic. 39 development in Milan, and where's the Venice itself? Yeah, here's the Venetian island. 60 development. Okay, that's that's quite a bit. And Florence at 36. And about Naples as well, and Rome itself. Jesus. There's a, there's a lot of stuff over here. But yeah, I'm going to play Beeberg, because they're Beeberg. Uh, the ideas haven't changed... Well, I wouldn't say I haven't changed too much, except you start with a crap ton of discipline. <laughs> you're a crap ton of land force limit modifier. And if you get to the end, your ambition is now no cost for reinforcing. Really weird. And you're kind of front-loaded because 40% tax in the first idea group. Yeah. It's kind of a bit um, front-loaded. But we'll see how it goes anyway. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, there's no point in turning on Iron Man for this, because, yeah, you can't be heard because it's running a mod. There's really not much point. Although we'll have to, you know, start making manual saves somewhere. Or just along on the auto saves. I have not actually boosted it up before, so I have no idea what to expect when I begin, other than there are reports of when it gets to the 30 Years War and the Religious League's War, it's going to slow down like crazy because, well, let's just open up the HRE screen and showcase why. Yeah, 367 princes. That thing scrolls a lot, so much so the buttons had to be put up here. Also, Styria starts as the Emperor, of all things. Once he has Austria and Tyrol as a vassal, but... Uh... Yeah, mostly because Austria is a vassal. Styrian Regency, I guess it's... Uh, obviously, that's more historic than having... Uh, who do they have? Oh, they have Maximilian... Well, no. Yeah. Austrian base game starts with that Frederick on the throne as opposed to 
you know, Jeteria not existing. It's weird. Look at all the stuff up there. Also, votes are kind of... Well, I was going to say, why are the votes so odd? Is it just because, you know, relations? Hmm. I don't know. It's going to take a while to get used to everything. Also, you can see there are going to be some of the... Um, some of the nations that tend to border parts of the HRE are actually in it, but they kind of... I think they get modifiers, triggered modifiers, for a crap ton of uh, development and force limits to make up for the fact that they have very few, very little actual land, like... Our getting is that traditions, transport costs minus 85%. Mostly so that they can get everywhere, whereas Genoa has... I don't even know what Genoa has. A few of them are kind of a bit odd in what they get. And you know, obviously here's France as well with their annoying... Or There's a lot of other, you know, there's a lot of craziness with all of the flags and everything. There are more historical flags than anything else. I don't know. So... Eberg. Oh yeah, there's also now six different <laughs> government ranks, from what I can tell. Uh, yeah, you need certain amounts of development. There's now six. County, I don't even Margrave, is that how you pronounce it? And then your duchy, principality, kingdom, and empire. It'll take a while to get through them. You start with the, four, I don't know if that's by default, your 445. On monarch death succession wars, the whole zones are out there in random places. It's all a bit weird. We start losing money? Really? Hmm. Huh. Probably because of all the forts. Oh, and the army. What, how's the army costing someone? Well, 16 troops. Maybe that would be why. Oh, yeah. There's my base. There's your base discipline. And a crap ton of... It's just a bit weird around here. Oh, Jesus. Decision. It's going to take a while to go through all of these. Uh, ha Actually, here's something I should figure out. Have they changed? Well, obviously, explore and expand have changed because there's no colonization around here. Obviously, as you can tell, this is the map. You ain't colonizing jack shit around here. So obviously exploration is a bit more different. They're kind of focusing more on what you know benefits you get by virtue of having gone exploration and what you get is the sea base and everything. He's a lot of coring range rather than anything else. I'm not is that good or bad? Maybe before somebody accept a culture threshold. Hmm, huh. well, that's bizarre. Yeah, obviously there is usual espionage. Maritime and naval are still here, even though there's kind of not that much water. And apparently they count as open sea for the most part. And there's expansion with development costs, core creation cost. Interesting. And the usual don't need permanent sea meat. Yeah, like we need that. State maintenance more than anything else. It's a bit interesting. I'm not sure what ideas you're really going to want around here, other than, well, if you're Beeberg, you know exactly what you're going to want. Because you may as well use that discipline. I think everyone is Western tech, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think it really matters too much. What is the provinces and ownership? Is that a new one or is that a mod based one? I can't tell. Where is tech? I think everyone, well, at least everyone starts at three, and I think even Poland here starts as a uh, Western. Mostly because they just need to be able to, you know exert themselves and there's the TO right there as well. It's all a bit weird, so let's just get down to the nitty gritty of us and figure out everything because my god this thing is gigantic. So with Styria as the Emperor. Yeah apparently you can't in order to make sure that the game actually progresses, you don't get any unlawful unless you are rivals with the Emperor, I believe. You need to be careful about that, so that's something to consider. Right, I start with... I don't even know where half of these things are. So, my three rivals are obviously Poland, Hesse, and Munich. Who does Poland else as a rival? Obviously the... He's the TO as well as Saxony. Saxony start friendly, which is interesting. I could probably get that day one. Friendly attitude, threatened by Poland. And they are gigantic as well. Uh, early missions, a very prestige. Conquer, conquer Radabor off of... Where? <laughs> That's only a better question because I know the provinces are norm. Wait, really? Hang on. No, that doesn't. That hasn't got us. Conquer. Oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what is normally one? Oh, it's the Silesian thing, right? What is normally one thing? Obviously, this is okay. This is claiming an entire area or something. I think. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Maybe we should look in the areas and regions. Conquer Ratibor, all down here. Uh, okay. I don't really 
know how I'm going to get down there because that's all the sighties here. <laughs> oh god, this is going to take a while. Also, something I never, I haven't looked at yet. That's a lot of trade nodes. <laughs> there are quite a lot of trade nodes. Uh, where'd they flow to? Danzig is an end node. That's interesting. The trade seems to flow to Danzig to Lübeck. Actually, it flows to a lot up north. Which is a bit, which is quite interesting. It also flows to, no, it flows out of Paris as well. It flows... Hmm. It's going to be interesting to figure out where it all flows, because there's going to be a lot of trade coming around. There's a lot of new trade goods that kind of, in essence, replace those what were usually... Because all the new world trade goods you don't need, so some of the... They're added new trade goods here, like here's amber and cat livestock. What's that? That's hemp. Okay, I'm only sure for ropes and things like that. I think there's like books and everything later on which are used, which get, I think get better with the Reformation or something like that. It's a bit odd. It's really odd. Okay, I border Stettin, but not... Well, these are guys are rope Pomerania, so who knows. Right. <sighs> Rivals. Okay, Reconquest on Ruby. You start with... Wait, we start with Cores? We do start with cores, okay. We start with cores on Rupan, we start with cores on this dude here, Brandenburg, which has one of our cores, which both our cores. Uh, Havelberg is also a core, Libus is a core. Huh, so we start with cores to fetch. Interesting. Oh, so what can we do here? Proclaim an anti-pope. I become excommunicated, but I get a crap ton of stuff until the end of the, until the, end of the game. Nor the North German Confederacy, which requires... Quite actually, not ter oh, 50 cities, but a lot of specific areas. Oh, and we can, you know, form Prussia by not being Catholic, basically. One of the following must be true own several cores or have Prusenia in a union. Who is Prusenia? <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is going to take a while to figure out any of these things. And then, yeah, just becoming Prussia, Lower Prussian, blah blah blah. A lot of crazy stuff. Right, rivals. Uh, well, obviously, whoo, that's a lot of them. Yeah, look at that. They get a lot of army because they they get, they get a trigger modifier for a much bigger army. So let's at least pick Poland. Hess is why would I care about Hess? And Munich. Uh, isn't, isn't Munich like down here or something? I don't know. I'm at Lundberg or Schwerin or one of the guys beside me sort of thing, like uh, Rupan, I guess. Still can't declare wars for the first while, so I might wait a bit until I actually do any of that. Uh, again, just checking the money. So we will start losing money immediately because, yeah, paying for my forts, of which I have a fort here, a fort up here, and a fort somewhere over here. Yeah. It's going to take a bit to figure out where everything is. Five and two, seven and two... Well, let's at least get some infantry on the go. I'll try and build up to at least somewhere near the force limit. We'll go to eight on each of them. Uh, diplomats, where do I want to start? Well, let's start by being buddies with the Saxon. He doesn't... Yeah, he hates the pole as well, so let's be buddies with the Saxon. And figure out where our dynasty is to figure out if we want to make any alliances there. So, Hohenzollern is... Wait, I'm not Hohenzollern? Where is my dynasty? <laughs> That's the thing. I have no idea where all of these particular places are. There is a... So, Ansbach, which is usually down here. So, you're Hohenzollern too. Then there's... Where is Beirut? Where is all of this stuff? I don't know. Where's my... Din yeah, there, din dynastic map boat. Right, Hohenzollern is also here. You're part... You're Beirut. Okay, and there's a couple of others, like there's obviously the Zonsbach, there's you down here. You seem to be the base of Hohenzollern, and you have an 11? You start with a dude who's 11. Okay, let's not bother with any of that, because there's not much point in it. Oh god, this is... Have I gone already way in over my head? Oh, advisors, yeah, let's not bother with that, we barely make money as it is. Alright, time to do the crazy thing and turn up the speed. Oh, turn on the log as well. That'd be something to do. Turn on the log so I can figure out everything is. Uh, Hamburg and Schwerin. Magdeburg wants access to start with already. Oh, you obviously you want access because you want to get your lands together. 
Oh, you desire my provinces. Maybe I should be making Magdeburg a rival to start with. You are... Huh, you'd offer an alliance, but I think you're kind of in the way, as they would say. Let's just rival Magdeburg, and... Can I, like, rival some of these miners before I get my course back off of them? I don't know. Rupan, no. Brandenburg, I don't think so. I think, I'm, I think maybe I'm a tad too big for, in order for, to, uh, you know, to rival them. Could do the TO. Uh, you suddenly desire provinces. I'm friendly towards you for whatever reason. Historical neutral. Oh, that thing shows up. Great. Great, the historical neutral is the thing. Great. <laughs> Not sure I like the looks of that. Bloomberg, Schwerin, Stettin. I feel like I should just do the TO. Oh, Saxony hates you as well. Right, TO it is then. Even though they start with a better army, but, you know. Friggin' Brandenburg, so what are you gonna do about it? Uh, should I focus mill to start with? I get a lot of mill in 455. Five. There's not much point in starting it, but it's kind of worth it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna not focus mill to begin with. Oh god, these guys as well. Also, why do you have so much. Jesus, these guys have a lot of. D I need to check my starting estates, because usually the way they are assigned at the start is terrible. Nobles, nobles. Okay, not really. Because provinces are kind of dirt. Outside of the very good provinces, yeah, provinces are kind of dirt. Which I suppose is a good thing, because you don't want people getting all too powerful to start with, but... Still, provinces are kind of dirt. Um, we'll get you guys in position in case I can take on anything here. Uh oh this is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, free advisor slots and everything. I should be figuring out where else I want to make alliances, if anything. I've only got two of five. But who else is friendly? Who else will be useful? Volgats, maybe. I don't want, I want to take care of you later. Who else hates Poland? Obviously, Bieberg, the TO, but TO, I rival them. You don't want to care. <laughs> there are just so many. What? Rendsburg, I don't know. So you hate Stargard, Kamen, and Riedensburg. Eh, fine, let's, sure, let's ally you. It's, I don't know, that seems to make a bit of sense, I, I think. <laughs> Emphasis on the I think. It's really hard to tell. Okay, the Humiliation Rivals has finally shown up, and yes, there we are, we're finally we're down on money and to wait until the 11th. Hopefully the miners won't have, won't have allied much in the meantime. Uh... I don't know what happened there. Nothing seems to have happened very much. All right, 11th. No, eh, it's the 11th. Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Also, let's go for general. Ugh. Well, at least he's got maneuver. Let's just start getting these. Uh, let's start getting these reconquests on the go. And see what happens with all of this discipline. Okay, discipline does something then. This is actually a force. I can't particularly tell. No, okay. You can split. Go here then. Uh, I need to get ready for Havelberg. But I need my I need this infantry to get into position first before anything else. What did you split to? You have split to three one and you split to a four one. Yeah, you're going here. You guys join up with that army there. Alright, Havelberg. Let's uh, at least get that on the go. Let's at least just take my cores back, because I have cores, apparently. I may as well go fetch them. You split and go there. Good, good. Okay, that's an occupation. Help on... Actually, I don't really need you to help on the siege. These are occupations, not sieges. So I don't really need anyone there. Uh, Volksat. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, fine. I guess. <laughs> Hard to tell if I really want to be... Uh, I don't know. Let's at least uh, oh wait relations, improve relations with Saxony, who's gonna be doing weird stuff. Just improve relations with the Emperor. Yeah, okay, that'll do for now. And if you affect the pole. Alright, Brandenburg occupied, occupied that. It's gonna take a while to figure out what all of these countries are. Rupan will be next, but I wanna at least finish off one or two of these before we do anything else. Saxony short. I don't, again, I don't want to be losing the provinces dry. I just want to get them. Styria on. Okay, a lot of quickie cores, it looks like. Maybe all of these. There's a lot of miners what have, what keep cores on places. I guess. It's hard to tell. Let's just get these things occupied and 
reintegration to my empire, and then we'll send you over here to deal with this. There we go. You go here. You go here. And get everyone out of your land. Sue for peace. Lanix. Barely any AE, which is good. I get your money as well. Thank you. So those are my provinces back. Which is good. It'll take a while. I can make a state here. Do I want to run state? Well, I have a core here. I may as well. It costs us two, but makes us 0 0.9. Good. And yeah, barely any autonomy. You guys turn around. And we need to go here. Estates are... Jesus, clergy and nobility already. Yeah, these guys are going to get a bit of a pain later on. Let's find the... Let's see if this stuff... I have trap... Oh, lumber. I was going to say, I have trap wood. Well, it technically it's lumber. It's not actually wood. To begin to, per se. I don't know if it gets better or not, so... I guess I'll have to do that for now. Uh, Libus, you don't have... Oh, you just have conditional military access. Oh, princes. Oh, everyone gets through. Oh, you've Wait, you have three provinces? Where's the third one? Oh, it's right here next to you. Right. Ah, I was like, where am I seeing that province? Uh, how long would it take you? 3rd of July, 5th of July. Wait a couple of days. Okay, yeah. You really march through these provinces really fast. Because you kind of need to. Uh, you go there, occupy that. You go over and occupy the other one. I'm just going to get all of my cores back. So they took their Jagion. I'm not sure how that really changes, but... Okay, you've got your Jagion at the very least. You're now, you're now an elective monarchy. Ooh, collapse of Polish government? Wait, what? They still have it, but damn, Poland loses 6 stability, 10,000 ducats. They become an admin monarchy, but then they're an elective monarchy. Huh, that's uh, interesting. Wonder what happens there. Is that a. I guess that's a flavor event, but at least it hopefully it ruins their day. Bohemia has become. Oh, Bohemia is an elective monarchy too now? Oh, interesting. Bohemia is now an elective monarchy. Hmm. Maybe worth trying to support an area in uh, Bohemia. A little later on, maybe. We'll do that in a sec. Okay. Oh, that's occupied. Get over there to the other one. I don't really want to be losing. Poland went bankrupt. Well. Poland went bankrupt, eh? What could it, do I have a mission to protect against Poland? Have 21 as an army or conquer Utborg off of... Where? Where is... Utborg? That off of Magdeburg. Who are hostile. Oh, because I made them my rival. They're being warned by Saxony as well. Alright, let's uh, do that then, I guess. Make claims on them. Eh, might as well keep this my network going on them as well. Just in case. Although I will have to bring some of these guys home. Jesus, okay, Poland without making all of the alliances are early. That's okay. Now, nope, Siege of You is done. That's good. I want the two of you in position here. I need to get a guy back. Okay, don't bother with the... Uh, don't bother with the... What should we call it? I bought it with the spy network for now. It's not terribly important. Sue for peace. Thank you. Give me my provinces back. No AE because it's all mine. Thank you. You guys merge back together. I would say take the general. Actually, you can take the general because he's kind of busy. Wait until I get my diplomat back. Uh, no diplomats to send. Oh, he hasn't come back yet. There we go. Okay, a lot of really weird random stuff. Okay, you still you didn't make an alliance. I want my core back, thank you. Oh, it's just worth all this bonus discipline. Also, that was a crap ton of war score from one battle. Damn. Alright, you are done. I want my core's back. I may as well. But, uh, there's not much point in kicking anyone out, thank you. Because these are all cores. There's not much point in kicking anyone out. And then hopefully we can get our last couple of cores on the go. And figure out what I want to do. She's still demanding provinces. Here, here's it. Oh, you already have that as a clergy province. There, more clergy. Bloody clergies. Bloody fucking clergy. Alright, uh, you guys just march on through. Yeah, you really march through these provinces fast because, in theory, it's a lot. In theory, because, you know, the map is a lot bigger and this is actually not that much. Oh, sweet. Free tax. Free tax in Berlin, which is actually a nicely developed province. 
somewhere at the 655. It's pretty nice. Uh, merchant, do I want the prestige or the money? Uh, you know, right now I'll take the prestige. I've been stealing a lot of money off these miners. So I may as well take the money. Okay. Oh, okay. Reinforcement cost. I was like, why am I spending so much money? Ah, it's reinforcements. It's always freaking reinforcement costs. Alright, let's get this done. We'll get all of this in us and we'll figure out where to go. Hey, there's Rupan. Hello. Wait, you're down here too? Huh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Can I get down there? No. But you're basically 100 it anyway. I can't make it a core? Is this not my core to start with? It's not. Oh, okay. That's not my core to start with. I did not notice that. Uh, I could kick that out of you guys. Make you not exist. But do that. Give up. Yeah, sure. Give up claims and that dude. And yeah, yeah I'm happy. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> and immediately after doing that, hey, I can upgrade my government rank. So we can now go from Margrave up to Duchy. We gain 10 prestige. I'm not sure what the bonuses are. Currently, it seems to be states and that folk school down is at plus two. When we buff that up, it goes up to plus four, and we have a teeny, teeny tick of monthly autonomy reduction. Now we need 600 development. 600 development to go to a principality. Well, that's something I need to work on. 600 development for a principality. Damn. Well, at least now that we have, we have a little bit of downtime, although we can go to 27. Jesus. 27 on the old force limit. Yeah, okay, Brandenburg gets uh, gets going pretty quick. I never actually really looked at my cultures, but oh, culture is going to be a bit weird. Oh, Magdeburg is no longer a valid rival. Damn it. Who's that leave other than Hess and Mute? Well, it technically it leaves everyone around me. Still. Yeah, what about uh, Stargard? So you declared war on enemy. Yeah, but you don't seem to have any alliances, so let's go for... No, I can't pick you. Much Schwerin. Just trying to figure out which of these guys around me are worthwhile to deal with. Apart from, well, I told the TO to stuff themselves. Brandenburg or Bohemia is a bit kind of... No, they're improving relations simultaneously as well. It might be no longer valid. Damn. Uh, Lundberg are busy. Lundberg are a lot... <sighs> Rivals, and so many just random people. Like, people completely on the other side of the HRE, and it's like, what, why are you a valid rival? Or why can you be a rival? That sort of thing. I don't know. Gr uh, sure, and you don't like Lubberg, Munster. Uh, I don't know. Are you, you're not allied to them, are you? Brandenburg, Sharon. You are allied to Sharon. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that then. Or are you? No, you guys are allied. Oh, this is gonna be... <laughs> I still feel I'm a bit in over my head. Alright, Lundberg then, I guess, because... Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I don't really know who most of the allies and people I need to worry about are. All I know is that there's stuff going on. Also, you're no longer a valid rival, which is unfortunate. But I can still get the mission to claim stuff off of you, so... Spy Network for the time being. Okay, figure out what is going on in the world. Hey, Danzig exists. Trade League. Oh, Confederate. Oh, it's not even a Trade League, it's Confederation. Ah, I see. It is not a Trade League, it is a Confederation. Saxony declare conquest on Rupan, so they're going for that province there then. Since I completely wiped the previous bunch, they may as well. Wait, who are you fighting now? Rupan and Anhalt together. Hmm. Interesting choice. And halt allied group. <laughs> okay. Looks like Saxony does can just walk all over them because troops. I mean, if we go... It, that's something I should probably do. Look at the... Uh, you can look at total troops. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, bonuses for the people just directly outside of the area. Like as you can see here, Aragon gets plus... Well, Aragon, France get plus 50. Uh, Bohemia, that's just Bohemia's standard. Uh, Poland... Only have 21. Wow, I thought they'd have, they have a lot more, they have a lot of manpower, but I thought Poland had... Huh. Poland don't actually have the, uh... Don't actually have a super force limit. I thought they did. I thought they were one of the... I thought they were one of the countries, what, we're gonna have a... You know, plus 50 for them taking over things, because they're technically a lot bigger in real life, or something like that. I don't know, it's a bit odd. 
Let's see what happens with Teutonic Order. Apparently they, you know, they have events that basically, oh, and they've already gotten hit as well. I should probably make them, mark them as an important nation because they have uh, particular events. Poland has a permanent claim there. Poland has permanent claims on everything over there. Oh, well, there's the Shadow Kingdom already. Unless all the super region of the Kingdom of Lombardy is part of the Empire before and stays within 1550. So how big is that? There's obviously a lot of Italy here. The super region of the Kingdom of Lombardy. Uh, super re Ah, here we are. Super region Lombardia. So yeah, that's going to affect everyone south of here. Good luck with that. <laughs> that's all I can say. It requires getting all of Venice and all of these, I believe, in order to stop them leaving. Which is a shame. So what's wrong with Provence? You are under Bar. Subject of Bar whose capital is not part of the Empire. Hmm. And yeah, this kind of ticks down for a bit while the provinces belong to the Empire are not part of it. Oh, he may ranks me high. Hmm. I don't know if they changed their vote for me. Saxony would vote, but they have the backing of... They're backing themselves. Now they're backing of another elector, so yeah, that's why. But I can back myself. Okay, need to close that. Need to remember, the close button for that is really, really far away. And it's a tad annoying. Oh, someone declared on Magdeburg. I really wanted another claim on them to get, like, Jericho or something. Jericho or something. I don't know, I'm going to take a while. going to buff relations with my ally, with the... The Emperor and the big guy beside me, the big ally dude beside me sort of thing. And then we'll figure out where we're going from here. So I'm, I took two off on Halt there. I could in theory take all of this because it's all same culture group. I never even looked at the culture groups, Jesus. Because apparently, is, yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, this is all like North German sort of thing, is that it? Or, no, this is Lower German, this is Upper German. Even though this is technically upper and it's technically lower. And uh, this is all the West Slavic stuff. Oh, okay. And here's some more. Uh, this is all Central German rather than anything else. Slovenian for some set Slavic. Okay. It's uh, <laughs> still a bit odd where everything is. But if I want to focus on forming the Kingdom of Prussia, obviously, well, it's going to take a while. I need, I need Konigsberg. I need Stolp, which is up here. Ooh, okay. I need to get into Stolp, which means I need to go through the TO, essentially. I don't know if there's a mission. Uh, I don't know if there's historical missions to go into the TO. But I wouldn't mind getting it. Alright, let's get this. I want this uh, thing up here. We're into here on Lumberg with a succession war. On Lumberg and... Oh yeah, succession wars in the HRE count as... Uh, yeah, Succession Wars in the HRE, they count as straight up, uh, just, they just count as, uh, no CB Wars. Ans okay, Ansbach, I might want to work on allying. You've Hohenhahi or something, you're attacking someone, I'd love to ally you because, again, same dynasty. All that crazy stuff, maybe I'll just keep my... Not gonna really, they're not really counting as enemies closer. I mean, they're friends, but they're also kind of enemies sort of thing, I don't know. Hysteria hates a lot of people, and oh, look at... <laughs> Yeah, has conditional military access through everyone. Because at war with him, because Emperor War, blah, Emperor go stompy, stompy, smashy, smashy. Okay, let's add some inf. I want a couple of infantry units added up here. The last jousting tournament, sweet! I love it when that shows up. Look at even more morale to go with morale. So you can have morale on top of your morale because you have, it's... I don't know. Yo, dog, I heard you like morale, so you can morale while you morale because morale? I don't particularly exhibit well, let me tell you that. It's actually going for uh, more people down there. They have claims on a lot of police. They have claims on a lot of people. I should probably work on Stargard at some point in the future. But I want to get that other claim here on Magdeburg, and then we'll start on them. So we're going to get that claim on Jericho here. No, it's not 25 yet. Jesus, come on. Hurry up and get to 25. Stargard and Sharon. Interesting. Oh, wait. That means you... No. Sharon? No. You're the... You know, you are the miner in there. Never mind. I am not going to get used to how there are so many different provinces. I could take Magdeburg itself at 15. 
that's probably a better idea. Do that then. And recall the dip mass, and then we'll just declare on them. I mean, that seems to be how it works, right? You're defending against people. Well, what if I did this to you? Saxony would come in for land, but I don't want them to. Saxony would come in for land, but I'd rather not. You know, I'd rather, you know, keep it for myself sort of thing. Take these two provinces if I can help us. This is all seems to be all that Magdeburg has, but once I get their force, then they really don't have too much of a choice in the matter. I get you up here. Stargard will be next. After we're nearly done with uh, Styria as well. Oh, for, wait, supply limit? Ah, oh, supply is kind of low in places. Okay, really can't build much higher than 12 until we get to better supply. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Yeah, let's just start with the network here. Sharon, fine. I guess you can have access, although you're about to die for it. Okay, don't want Styria. Whew, that's going to take off and then to come back. Ah, yeah, well, not to, not to worry, not to matter. I can build a oh, fort. Yeah, fort map mode. Well, if I want to take this one off the TO, I really don't really need it too much, so let's see if we can ignore that fort for now. It's nothing to worry about, that fort. It's a minor thing. Let's just work on getting ourselves nice and big. So that we can do things. Oh, you won. And you annexed them. Ha! Huh. You didn't get them as a vassal. Well, that's good news. But once I win this siege, then you'll just wipe and yeah, it'll be all good. There is a lot of crazy stuff going on over there. I mean, a lot of crazy stuff. Ooh, here we go. This is an apparently yeah, historical event now. The Newmark Purchase. Financial questions led the TO to offer us the purchase of our old territory in Newmark. It's literally just for Newmark itself. So it costs 100 ducats and we get the core on Newmark. And we see, and they see Newmark too. Now I don't think Newmark is a particular, is just a, is a section. It's an area. Absolutely. Hello, we have Newmark now. Ooh, may as well make it a state. Is that all for states? I think that's all for states. Yeah, now we're suddenly quite a lot bigger. Uh, silly T.O. But now that gives me access to Stolp, which is something I really need to get. I need to get Stolp, don't I? I need, I need to find these provinces. Mui, which is in the middle of the TO. Stolp itself. Yeah, I need that. So I basically need to get the entirety of the TO up here. And finally, Konigsberg, which is somewhere up here. Whew. I need to get a lot. Also, wow, books are worth four ducats to start with. Damn. But yeah, I need to go all the way up here. So maybe I should be focusing on attacking things up here. like, Or even taking, like, Kamen, if I can. Oh, I don't Poland. Yeah, good look at that pole. <laughs> you have a lot of alliances. You're also... You're still bankrupt. You're still bankrupt. And I don't know how much longer you're going to be bankrupt for, but you're still bankrupt. You probably take advantage of that fact. Yeah, let's just uh, kill Magdeburg a bit. Actually kill them a lot out, or just wipe them. Straight up. <laughs> oh, great. You guys want more land. Great, great, great. Well, here, nobles can have that. Anywhere that has a force is good for nobles to have because uh, they can give fort defense later on. That's a good thing to have, that fort defense. Right, you're pretty much done. Ooh, okay, we're starting to get a bit of AE for all this now. I could take all of this. Yeah, people don't mind too much. You don't consider any of that vital interest. I'll take all of this. I could take more, but I think I'm happy with just this. You get I don't care about your alliances. Let's do that. And all sack. Give up planes in Saxony then. Oh, and give me your dosh. Okay, I need to seed you out a bit more. And then I can have your dosh. Thank you. Go for Berg itself. Okay, we're good. Thanking you. Beautiful. Get some manpower recovery speed. We have corruption from the OE, which is as per usual. Protect against the TO. They have twenty six. Wow. Uh, conquer Radabor. That is... No, that's still this thing down here. I don't see the need in getting Radabor. Why would I need to get Radabor? Seriously, why would I need to get Radabor? Let's just go for protecting against the TO. Uh, core some stuff. Geez, only Magdeburg is the important one. We'll have you sitting on Magdeburg then. I don't know to use 32, but of course with the low supply limit. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's a bit low this early stage, so I may as well just make another... Army of 10 and 2. 
No, I really don't need the 16 very much. We can make at least 6 and 2 to start with. Uh, you... No, not there. Figuring out where are provinces I can actually do. There we go, that's a 6 and 2. Also, that's all my map pair. <laughs> Alright, let's just get this army done. I want to have this third army and have it in position and put it somewhere over there. Suddenly losing... Oh, wow. That is a dynasty. This is a fucking dynasty, all right. Okay, turn that down. Where did I have a, oh, I have a fort over Oh, right, yeah, I accrued that fort now. 30 nobles. Still want more land. Fine, more freaking land for you guys. How about you guys... Where else has... This? Yeah, you nobles. You guys still want more land. Damn, you guys are picky. I feel like I should give you guys the twos. But not giving anything that's too good. There you go. Nobles can have that. Clergy can have this, I guess. No, nah, still want more. Still want more. Oh, they already have that. Here, take that as well. Bloody estates. Bloody estates want so much feckin' land. Alright, let's get this army built and then we'll figure out what to do. I'm probably going to be going up here. Actually, I need to get... Kamen or Stolp? Stolp is allied with Vol Volgas. Oh, my dude here. You're out of Poland, but Poland are still bloody freaking. Poland are still um, a bit uh, bankrupt. So it's not like they could do very much, really. I mean, really, they can't do very much. There's protecting is the TO. You guys get over. Oh, you guys need some morale first. Man, Parasers need to recover. And of course they do. I guess we could try that and hang around for a while while we hope our man power gets back. Immedi Imperial immediacy? Uh, is that a triggered modifier? Uh, the ancient rite answerable only to the emperor. Ah, huh. is that because we're in the HRE or what? I don't know what it is. Let me just get these cab finished, figure out, just to make sure that I know. I can figure out where my money is. There we go. All you guys, when you're ready, I want you to go over here. We'll make a third army. <laughs> Flanders. Yeah, let's do that for now. Okay, that'll do for now, at the very least, I think. We'll put a cut in here while I figure out where I want to go next. Well, that was... Yeah, okay, Brandenburg may be a bit railroaded, but... I want to have fun. And if fun means Brandenburg, then... Then that's what I'm going to do. 